Okay folks, this is another bike with another type of motor I wanted to show you. This is quite a unique construction, uh, it comes from uh, Neo Drives. Uh, this is hub motor Xion uh, Z Z15. Uh, the special thing with this motor is it's coming with torque sensor built in already in the wheel. So it's not like in these cheap uh, Chinese uh, motors. Uh, it's reacting on the force you are applying on the pedals. Uh, here is the battery, here is the screen, here you can uh, see the control panel, the screen is removable, uh, it comes with different settings, here this green bar is showing you know, how much support you are getting from the motor, so whenever you are decreasing support you know the range increase. You can also change uh, the boost mode, it's like I'm on echo, and you can see how much uh, power the motor is taking from the battery when I'm riding on this. So maybe I'll just show you quickly. Now it's like quick support. Going maybe to 18 amperes max in the peak. This motor is 250 watt. Power with nominal up to 650 in the peak and it has 40 Nm torque so it's quite brisk it's not bad and it's completely silent I think that's the best thing with this motor change uh, boost mode you go to assist mode and by choosing this option you can unleash the full power of the motor the range decrease. Yes. Now it's enough just to slightly touch the pedals. Yeah. The motor goes like crazy. Auto works very smoothly. It's a good option, like you know, for the trips. I'm not sure if it performs very well in the, the very hilly terrain. It has enough torque to pull you up. And if you want to have a stealthy uh, electric bike. Probably this is the best option. You don't you don't hear any noise. Only wind as you can hear now. And ratchet mechanics in the back wheel. Okay. You have seen uh, this bike uh, in operation. This is, uh, by the way, uh, Focus uh, Jari Fast Speed model. So I'll just uh, go quickly through the spec of this uh, mot bike and motor, the whole system, I would say. So as I mentioned before, this is like a hub drive motor. Normally I'm doing conversions with the mid drive motors, but this is. Thanks to this stock sensor, quite interesting solution. I don't like uh, motors without the torque sensor. They feel unnatural to ride. Yeah. What is interesting also with this motor, uh, it can be mounted on almost every bike with the quick release dropouts. I already made one conversion with this uh, with DBS uh, bike. Uh, the only thing you need to be aware of is to have like very uh, deep uh, dropouts for this uh, locking mechanism. You can see the steel plate here. Yeah. If the dropouts are too short, this element will swiggle. 
back and forth depending uh, either you are accelerating or accelerating. Yeah. But if you can manage to find the frame with this uh, deep drop rod, you can uh, use this motor for conversion successfully. Okay, here is the bracket uh, for the battery. Here are the connectors. Uh, the cable is going inside the frame. But it's also possible to drill out the hole at the back of it and just pull the cable outside. This bike frame is specially made for this motor, so they made an like, opening under the bottom bracket so the cable go and go straight to the motor. Okay. So you saw the cable to the motor and another one is going to the display inside the frame. Uh, it's here. Okay. And here is the mounting bracket for the display. Display is removable. This is a very good solution. Uh, in places especially when you know there are a lot of thieves. <laughs> trying to steal equipment from the electric bikes so you can take uh, the display home and leave the bike outside here is the control panel I mentioned already ok, I'll show you the display now and the battery on the table you can see the battery of the system I think it's 15 ampere hours uh, capacity let's check so uh, it's 36 volts, 14 ampere hours capacity. Okay. So at the front you have the charge status indicator. You just need to press this button to see if it's fully charged or not. On the side is the connector for the charger. It's magnetic. It's like a standard solution for derby uh, equipment. This is the removable display. This is upgraded version with the Bluetooth. So you can pair it with the mobile phone. Here you can see the back of this. Here you can see the pins. They're facing with the bracket. So this is like the communication mm. yeah, connectors. Yeah. What is very interesting with this uh, system in general, you can tune it with a special application, the laptop. So I'll just show you quickly. It's called Smart Diagnostics. Yeah. So you get this message. The display has a USB port. So you can connect it to the laptop with your normal USB drive cable. So let me do this and then I will show you quickly what you can do with this software. Display is connected. You can see this message. That there is like a interface towards the computer. And here is the window from Smart Diagnostics. It provides you all the errors. The system like engine, battery and SMMI. Yeah. You can check out uh, information of the, about the firmware version. You can even set up like uh, messages about the requested uh, service. Yeah. And what is most interesting thing, you can set up and change many different parameters on this motor. More or less like in buffer motors. Yeah. So you can change the maximum speed, uh, brake assist, maximum torque, many other stuff. 
So this system is quite, I would say, very flexible actually for the tuning. It's a shame that it's only 250 watt motor. Uh, if it was like a half a kilowatt or even one kilowatt, that would be interesting to fiddle with. Okay. I'll just show you quickly the menu uh, on the display when it's uh, installed on the back and that will be all for this movie, I think. I put the battery and display on the bike. To start up the system you just need to press this center button. And now motor is in operation. I already mentioned about these boost levels and then the assist level. Yeah. So you can find much more information about the last trips, like the total mileage. When we go to the menu, you can see other uh, modes. Yeah. Here you can see the, all the assisted modes. To reset, you can change this push assist. Or, uh, push assist means like a walking mode. But, uh, this motor comes also with the regenerative uh, braking. Which means that uh, when the battery uh, level, charge level drops below, let's say, 90%, whenever you are going down here or slowing down, motor actually can uh, recuperate uh, this energy to back towards uh, the battery. So you can have it uh, turn on uh, constantly or turn it off. Probably it's better to turn it off so you can ride it normally like any other bike. Yeah. Also interesting thing, yeah, I mentioned already, you can connect it to the uh, mobile with Bluetooth interface. Yeah. And then uh, you can even uh, use uh, this display as a map. Unfortunately you need to pay for the program <laughs> using this. I'll show you how pairing of the mobile looks like. You need to turn on the display first. And then uh, when you have uh, application downloaded, it's Smart Connect, as I remember. Yeah. If you go into this, you'll see that the uh, mobile or the program will see this display, so you just need to press on it. Connect. Yeah. And that's what you will see. Like the range and the parameters or the charge level of the battery. Some other info like which uh, assist mode you are in, nice boost. Here are some uh, informations about the uh, tour when you are going. And the last trip, if you go to menu here, you can turn on this navigation I mentioned. Yeah. So the only problem is that you need to pay for it. I'm not sure if you will see it. There will be a window coming in. Oh, yeah. So it costs it's around 300 crowns. Yeah. So you can use then the display as a navigation device. Which you can see uh, something similar, I think, in other Kalhoff uh, motors. Okay. So now I'm disconnected and you can see this uh, Bluetooth uh, signal turn red, so there was no connection. Okay, thanks for watching, I hope it was interesting for you.